Hello designers, welcome to We Design Tomorrow, a podcast for designers to unleash your creative potential. Today we have Mr. Nasir, who is a UI design lead at Lollipop UX UI Design Studio, one of the well-known studio from India. Uh, welcome Nasir, welcome to the show. Hello, hi, hi, Sushan. Um, thanks, thanks for the invite. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, we met some time back uh, at Lollipop's office. So, if uh, listeners, any of you know who is Kunal Shah, and he is a <laughs> clone of Kunal Shah. <laughs> oh, that's, like, that's like a big word. I'm not a clone of Kunal Shah. Kunal Shah is in the next level. I'm not even <laughs> in close with uh, Kunal Shah. Yeah. But so, thanks, yeah. thanks, buddy. I take that as a compliment. Yes. So when I met uh, him at his office, I was like talking to him for uh, 10-15 minutes. Then after that, I said, bro, you look like Kunal Shah. And he was like, uh, <laughs> he got surprised a bit. <laughs> uh, yes. No, actually, there are like, few people have told me that. But no, uh, like Kunal Shah is in a different league. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, most of you might have heard about uh, Lollipop. If you haven't... Uh, we can start with uh, naming few of the clients of uh, Lollipop so that uh, you can <laughs> recognize what Lollipop is up to. So, uh, Nasir, can you name a few of your clients? There are many, bro. There are many. We have worked with around 400 plus clients across the globe. Across the globe. Uh, to name a few, recently we have worked with Baiju's, um, Vodafone India, V. We. We, we are still working with V. Um, okay. There's HCFC. Uh, recently we are working with um, but there are a lot of few, I mean, there are a lot of uh, many clients that we have started with, and there are a lot of US opportunities that have opened up. We're also collaborating with many uh, big brands, like, for example, uh, 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 McDonald's, not McDonald's, sorry, uh, Burger King. We have worked with Burger King uh, in different uh, cities. Um, in Bina region, we have worked. In India, we work with uh, um, Burger King. And so there are a lot of uh, clients. I don't know, like, I just uh, immediately can't uh, remember, but yeah, there are a lot of clients. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Nasir started his career by uh, 2013. So why design as a career 10 years back, which is a completely unconventional decision? Uh, not everyone will take that. And we spoke about a bit uh, during when we met. So can you talk about it? Yeah. Uh, to correct it, it's 2014, not 2013. Sorry. Um, still one more year to go. Actually, one and a half years to go. Um, it's my ninth year now. So, design, I, I didn't choose design, man. Uh, I didn't want, I, I, I mean, um, I didn't know there was a uh, career like UX, UI at that time. When I was doing my college engineering, um, I wanted to do visual arts, but uh, my parents said, um, in 2008, engineering is the one which you do after you finish your 12th. Uh, so, they forced me into engineering. I didn't study engineering. Then in my third year, my parents came to know, no, he, he is not fit for engineering. <laughs> then they are like, you, you go and do whatever you want. So I started learning Photoshop in my third year of college. Um, I did a few banners and ads. I mean, the creatives for college culturals and uh, uh, my friends in colleges, um, they'll come to me and uh, hey, Nasir, can you edit this Photoshop? Photoshop this. A picture for me. I do like uh, a lot of uh, you know fancy stuff. Add colors and uh, make them uh, look a different uh, uh, thing. So that's where it started. Um, I started uh, loving Photoshop. Actually, uh, it was Photoshop um, CS6, I think. Uh, it was in 2011, in 2011. Yeah. Um, then uh, to be honest, I didn't. Know, I don't know if I could say this. Um, this will set a wrong example uh, to the students here. Um, I have arrears. I still have arrears in my <laughs> college. Okay. Um, so I think that was the time when 3 idiots was released, 2013, which, you know, kind of uh, put some thoughts in my mind, you know, degrees don't matter. Passion is what matters. So all my passion was towards Photoshop. And I had interest towards, you know, learning animation and VFX. So right after finishing my college, uh, I joined the institute where I started learning about animation and VFX. And that is when uh, are you, I started... Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Are you uh, regretting about your backlogs? Uh, no, not at all. No. Then no. Not at all. Okay. 
one thing if i wanted to go abroad probably yeah okay uh, but no, but i'm not interested in uh, you know going abroad so it's fine with me mm. um when i was learning animation in vfx is when i started to know about ux that is the time when it started booming the term ux ui it was completely a new term in at least in india not in abroad at least in india it was a very new term uh, people had no clue about what ux and ui is um, design was not even a first preference uh, like how they are giving it now uh, back in 2013 or 14 people didn't give much importance to the uh, design um so ux ui was a new term and i came to know they are using photoshop tool to create the designs i'm good at photoshop why not make a career out of it is what i thought i didn't i didn't think about what salary will i get uh, will i will my career will be a good growth for me here and i didn't i didn't think about that since i know photoshop i thought why not let's uh, let's give it a try then i started looking at youtube videos i'm a self learned designer i didn't go to institute or any design uh, back then there was no design institute at all uh, um yeah so started watching youtube videos um and i quickly like created few designs back then uh, first design attempts that students used to do was create a weather app okay now now people now are doing that, uh, shoe interaction no now people are doing the shoe interactions the e-commerce app interaction but uh, back then weather app is the first design that you do so i did a design for uh, weather app and i posted on posted it on uh, my behance portfolio like after two days i got a call from a company here in chennai they're looking for designers i thought oh such a easy task man i don't have to do like a lot of work I just created a two two or three works and i got a job offer uh but yeah salary was a bit low um my parents were concerned um you spend so much money on your education and your salary is too low no i i told them i like i consoled them saying you know this is something new um so this is one thing that i learned when there is some new technology or something you know that emerging that is booming when you travel along with that you will grow in your career you'll grow along yeah. with that you grow along with that so that is the path that i chose why not travel with it even if it is a low salary i didn't mind i consoled my parents you know in couple of years i know i'll be getting this much and that much um so they left me and yeah now i'm like i'm in a pretty good place that was Ooh. that is how my career started right so right after 2 years working at the first company you joined lollipop chennai yeah uh, yep. lollipop, lollipop, bangalore, sir. lollipop bangalore so back in 2016 2016 is when i joined lollipop mm. um there was only one branch uh, in bangalore only um it was like a startup back mm. then lollipop now it's a big uh, company but uh, in 2016 it was uh, like a startup i was the 30th member when i joined there's no hr when i joined lollipop um there were only design team there were like 25 design team and there were other few members like accounts sales and everything mm. so how was it to work with lollipop from the beginning what's the change i mean what's the difference uh, back at uh, 2016 and now uh, what's the difference so the way of working the one thing that didn't change is the culture uh, okay. culture is what has not changed in lollipop Uh, but in terms of you know even though i had 2 years of experience in design and i joined lollipop i felt like i, I didn't know nothing i didn't know anything like they were all like super creative designers and though their works were really good i uh, i didn't know how i got selected in lollipop in the first place <laughs> so culture has not changed in terms of the way of work um, you know the client handling or delivering the work uh, is what has changed a lot in terms of you know back then we used to work in photoshop in lollipop in 2016 okay. there was no sketch um later only sketch got by uh, then uh, uh, was it a, a graphic design studio or ux studio no 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 it was completely when it started lollipop is started it started as a ux uh, agency not as a graphic design even now we don't do any uh, i mean we do graphical works but we don't give it as a service 
then lollipop might be one of the pioneers in uh, yeah, ufc studio it is it is it is uh, one of the pioneer okay and that is the vision of anil you know anil uh, okay. he is designer by heart uh, he was an artist um, and his vision was to you know enable uh, indian designers across the globe there's a lot of talent i mean india has a lot of talent uh, which needs to be showcased across the globe is what his vision was and he is doing it so people who ever uh, doesn't know about who anil is anil is uh, founder of lollipop uh, design studio yeah. yes yeah we as you said uh, the culture didn't change but the uh, the way the work the way uh, onboarding of client and delivering the project changed from then to now uh mm-hmm. so w- what is that change what uh, what was it before in 2016 and uh, how is it happening now see i mean in terms of speed since the technology has evolved we are using figma now mm. this like uh, back then if you have to get approvals and uh, get feedbacks from the client it has like two way process right you have to send email okay. and pdfs you have to convert those designs into pdfs and those pdfs to uh, clients via email and takes that takes a lot of uh, time now it's very easy you just do a design and you can share the link sigma link with your client uh with your designing client is on the file you don't know what to do <laughs> so the speed has uh, i mean it has rapidly evolved okay in terms yeah. of sales uh, i'm not sure back in 2016 i was not sure how uh, sales team was working uh, but yeah mm. what about now okay do you have any idea about it uh I don't involve in sales uh, but when the client comes in there are a lot of ways that client comes in right um, mm-hmm. you have referrals to referrals uh, like one of our clients could have referred a, a client to us and that's one way and uh, there are um, other agencies who have clients they want to work with us you now that is one way of uh, getting and there's one way of getting leads is through our uh, website itself there are people uh, who post requirements on our website we get leads and uh, we have a separate sales team for that uh, they get in touch with the clients they um, talk about the requirement what they uh, actually want and they involve us in the requirement call that initial that initial call uh, like before signing off the project uh, before signing before getting signing off uh, we some leads or seniors here uh, designers uh, get on a call with the client and understand what their actual requirement is um, so we get a basic sense of what they are expecting is it the mvp they are looking at or is it uh, they have a product already and they want to revamp it or is it like a long term engagement for their uh, product they are looking at so we get a sense of what they are looking at based on that we you know um, put a rough timeline and uh, we give it to the sales team based on the timelines uh, the sales team you know puts a cost and uh, statement of work as w and we get uh, you know then the it kicks off mm-hmm. if everything goes well cool cool okay so yeah you told about your hiring process uh, process in 2016 like you said you will mm-hmm. mention in the uh, uh, okay. up, 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 coming questions so how does it happen this is some uh, common question we ask to all our guest who is uh, at the position of uh, hiring so you hire people in lollipop studio so how do you hire people and what do you uh, see and what do you look for see in lollipop it's not a product company okay it's not a product company it's a service company so cracking an interview in lollipop is not a rocket science it's pretty simple mm-hmm. i'll put it that way it's pretty simple to crack the interview in lollipop and that is how we have like 200 plus designers across the globe okay um, yeah so at least i i lead the ui team here uh, i lead the ui team so i look at the uh, profiles for the ui candidates yeah i said the connect right um, so when i joined in 2016 i was not given a task i was not given a task anil spoke to me for like 15 minutes anil spoke to me for 15 minutes he was asking about random things it's not even about designs it's not even about design man it's okay. he, he was he was it, it was a casual talk with me and anil and after like half an hour i got a call you were selected okay what he asked uh, any to uh, to uh, i don't remember questions? exactly i don't remember exactly um since it's been 8 years now 
um but i don't i don't remember much actually um i keep recalling it but i don't remember i don't like uh, uh, about it even he did he even he even he did uh, uh, doesn't remember it so after i joined lollipop i felt insecure because people are doing amazing jobs but i'm not good at it uh then after like few months there was another lead uh, um who was working with me in uh, bangalore lollipop i casually asked him bro even after seeing my work um i mean after seeing my work do you regret hiring me uh, what i asked okay he said yes i regret hiring you uh, but why did you hire me as what i asked um he said uh jokingly he said you know um i was not there at the moment anil was the one who was recruiting so if i if i was there i would have rejected you then i kept thinking you know why did anil hire me in the first place no i don't know in the call maybe i should have i could have maybe shown my attitude towards learning um maybe not my work i had interest in learning multiple um tools or something like that or collaborating or gelling with the team the attitude he was looking at no that is what i said i had a connect with me hiring now designers in lollipop i don't look at their skills man seriously when i look at the portfolio it 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 has to have some kind of a visual sense on the since i come from a ui background it has to have some amount of visual sense to the portfolio but when i talk to the candidate i look at their attitude mm-hmm. i look at their attitude if if they are if or if they will be a part of the team team members i don't i don't like people who work silos and you know um, all those stuff they have to be a part of a collaborative uh, team you know end of the day you will work with the team right uh, there is no point in working in silos and getting credits uh, so i look that kind of an attitude or willingness to learn and uh, grow along with the company i've seen a lot of uh, profiles even some i've regretted uh, hiring you no know, i i might take a bad decision at some point but it's okay that that is the liberty that anil has given to me you do mistakes in hiring but that's okay it's okay to take risk uh, with this style of attitude i mean with this style of hiring i am pretty sure i have a good amount of people with me now in chennai mm. so this is one of the major problems every uh, early stage entrepreneur face since i spoke to uh, a few of, a few of them in my other podcast and they used to say like after record they used to uh, talk about or whine about uh, uh, the mistakes they done in <laughs> hiring and how are they facing it and that is uh, think that is one skill we should learn uh, as early as possible yeah uh, yeah so as you said uh, it starts from the portfolio then interview you look for their attitude in the interview then so i i'll tell the process i'll tell the actual process how it works so we get a list of profiles uh, we mm-hmm. we use notion for uh, uh, filtering um, so our uh, hr team will put out all the uh, leads that we have got uh, for the candidates <coughs> we have set of uh, designers here seniors and leads who will go through all the profiles and we give the, we give our feedbacks on the profile and based on our feedback hr team will get in touch with the candidate um, if the profile is really good um, i don't give the task i don't give the task if the profile is really good if the visual skills are really good i don't give them a task i'll tell hr you know i want to connect with this candidate i'll get on a call check for the attitude and you know boom that's it then the hr team then the negotiation happens that is up to them uh, i don't uh, i don't involve in that uh, but if the profile looks okay is we send out a task we send out a task we'll check their ability in the task Uh, once the task has been uh, received we will review that again uh, if the task output is really good then we tell hr you know uh, please set up a call with the uh, with the candidate and we get on a call again the same process happens mm. that's how the process is so it starts with short listing then portfolio then a task uh, yeah. then an interview 
then hr will uh, HR talk on, about yeah, hr, HR on, yeah. yeah that's it cool okay so and, and so recently hmm. recently um since lockdown we've been connecting via calls but uh, recently we are inviting people to office and take in person interview so that you get to meet them face to face and see how their reactions are and all those things so when you hire people like uh, like how, how how long have you been hiring for a lollipop um since 2020 2020 so it's been 2019 uh, i joined again lollipop mm-hmm. um then the covid happened i think end of 2020 we started hiring again mm, so yeah from 2020 end of 2020 yeah, like, i am like constantly constantly hiring people so you've been hiring for last two years approximately uh, we can say yeah yes yeah. so what do you feel uh, the new budding or uh, a fresh designers lack which uh, you are very good at or uh, designers in your age are uh, very good at no i am i am actually pretty impressed with the new age designers okay you know uh, because people in college who are really interested or they know about ux and ui they have very good portfolio during their college days i feel bad you know uh, why didn't i have a portfolio back in my college days it ha- it, it took me around 5 years to build a uh, portfolio for me now people uh, people who are doing college they have a good portfolio man i'm pretty impressed and and you know the kind of uh, interest they show towards learning is also like pretty impressed um I don't say I'm good at Figma, but when I when I look at them, they are really fast. Um, I mean, they can quickly build a uh, layouts for that matter. You know, Figma. I I don't work with auto layouts. Uh, like it, it kind of you know cracks my head because we are old age uh, kind of designers. Uh, we don't uh, really go well with the auto layouts. But I mean, yeah, people are. It's pretty useful uh, feature uh, in Figma. Uh, but the way they work in Figma. um or the other tools they they kind of you know um what are the other tools that can help you i mean the ui uh, look pretty i mean they are learning after effects um like i i interviewed few people who who in college days they have started learning after effects and all those stuff i'm pretty impressed with that but even after like if i hire a fresher let's say um we have so many freshers here um so i'm not i'm not talking about the freshers here in lollipop but generally um, is what i've seen is the lack of confidence mm. yeah the lack of confidence in believing you know they are designers i'll just give you an example when i started my career in uh, 2014 like right after two months i got a bashing feedback from my client um saying what is this design this looks like uh, No, I don't. Use, I don't. I don't want to use a word. But he was uh, pretty raging at me. Then I like after the call, I went directly. It was a small company. Uh, I went directly to my uh, CEO's uh, room, and I told him, you know, I am not a. I'm not a fit. I'm not fit for uh, this career. I'm not fit for the career. The one advice that he gave me was, which I. still follow it getting you know learning something is different than applying yeah you can gain knowledge as much as possible from you know articles or uh, youtube videos or whatever um like seeing a session you can gain a knowledge but you will go, you will get in a position where you feel you are good at it is when you apply it yeah, yeah. so get knowledge as much as possible and start applying it in your work it's not a, it's not a, it's not just about design it can be any um work yeah when you start applying your knowledge in your work that is when you um you get that confidence so yeah after like um, so i mean after that conversation also i got backing from uh, the client but it kept me growing hmm it kept me going okay and i feel that is what it has made me what i am now mm okay so okay um 
you are working with uh, lollipop lollipop is growing and uh, recently we heard about uh, lollipop is starting a, a new office in bay area us yeah so what's the future plans and do you have any idea about it i mean it is exciting for me uh, it is exciting for me we have opened uh, like after covid uh, we have opened a lot of uh, centers across global we have opened in uh, vietnam in 2020 uh, ho chi minh city in vietnam and uh, recently in hyderabad and uh, yeah bay area is uh, upcoming i mean there are a lot of uh, i see a good growth in lollipop um, Anil has mentioned this in one of his Instagram posts that 2023 is designers' years. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of opportunities opening up uh, since the COVID is down now. Uh, market is opening up. US opportunities are uh, uh, banging up. And we uh, design tomorrow uh, also started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very all the best. Yeah. And uh, you know. lollipop designers will get an opportunity to travel across different uh, uh, cities globally and one of our uh, so one of my co uh, leads is currently in saudi now for one of his project there are a lot of travel opportunities um, i'm really excited i'm really excited yeah hmm. so uh, you mentioned and, you... and just to add and just to add um, so i personally take care of uh, chennai team here um uh, when i joined in 2019 um we were only seven members you saw the office right it was yeah, a pretty yeah. big office and there were only seven people and uh, we used to open the office uh, in the morning and we close it uh, every day uh, that's how it was and now we have grown to 40 40 to 45 uh, designers in chennai um with development team we are around 70 now uh, in just chennai only we are constantly growing we are hiring a lot of uh, new talents and uh, seniors as well are you hiring any uh, uh, like are you hiring in chennai office now currently yeah, yeah we are we are hiring okay but majorly we are looking at seniors now we already have a lot of uh, fresh candidates mm-hmm. uh, who has joined us recently uh, but majorly yeah if uh, yeah we are looking so, at seniors so if you are in, is there any uh, way to contact you uh, can we I put a link in the description of this uh, episode. I get a lot of requests on LinkedIn, man. Uh, okay. I get a lot of requests on LinkedIn. I hmm. unfortunately I I'm not able to reply to all of them, but I I I tend to reply to few. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, LinkedIn is one way to reach out to me, and you can you know there are a lot of you can find a lot of designers in working in Lollipop in LinkedIn. Hmm. You can reach out to any of us, and we also post uh, job job. Uh, opportunities in linkedin itself where they can directly apply it cool okay so yeah since we spoke about the evolving design and adaptation to that so is there any resources you would suggest us to uh, adapt to that and uh, <coughs> stay See, updated resources. to the uh, current trends of designs so i particularly don't follow any websites or anything mm-hmm. uh I just I just keep a track on what's happening on LinkedIn because that is where you get uh, most of the news. Uh, because I follow a lot of designers, they keep sharing a lot of uh, new things. Uh, that is where I keep updated myself. Um, if you're talking about resources for, uh, um, can you share any a uh, uh, few pro- uh, profiles you follow on LinkedIn so that we can get used to uh, uh, get used? Uh, do you want me to tell now or after? Yeah, the... tell tell now now. Okay. Um, for the audience, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> see, I I follow Chris too. Uh, Chris too, okay. Chris too is really good at you know. I since I'm an introvert, uh, he was also an introvert, and uh, now he is you know his communication and um, uh, presentation skills are extraordinary. Like I I admire him watching talk, just talk, you know. Um, I follow him. Um, yeah. Um, Creds Harish uh, Shivaramakrishnan. Harish Shivaramakrishnan. Uh, yeah, Creds. Creds Cred, okay. Uh, Creds design head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a like really versatile person. Person. He yeah. sing. Uh, uh, I like. I like him. I admire him. Um, I follow his post, man. I mean, he's mm-hmm. killing it. Um, <laughs> Very interesting person. 
I don't know. I can't really think of now. Um, who else? I can't. I can't recall the name, man. But yeah, okay. there are quite a few. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nazir, for uh, for your time and all insights you have shared with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you uh, for having me uh, in this podcast. Um, Let's keep supporting uh, Sudarshan. We design tomorrow. Um, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward uh, to it, man. Um, I mean, this year is gonna be a designer's year, and uh, you will grow along with it. <laughs> and I will and, also uh, in a good please. way of you know, um, since you are like creating a community uh, uh, for designers here, um, and also we are coming up with. Uh, I don't know if I can share this news here. Um, designer T two point two. is mm-hmm. going to happen soon okay the work is going on parallel mm-hmm. and we'll collaborate definitely oh happy so i would like to thank uh, mr yuvraj muthu who was our first guest and uh, he was the one who connected with uh, uh, nasir and this is this happened because of uh, yuvraj thank you brother for uh, doing this and um, yeah thank you so much yuvraj <laughs> Yeah thank you bye Nasir bye 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 Krishna take care right, okay